Hey everybody, I'm Jordan Strobel, Elephant Keeper here at the North Carolina Zoo. Thank you so much for submitting all of your questions. I'm really excited to answer them, so let's get to it. I've always really loved animals and I knew I wanted to have a career that involved working with animals and also helping to save them in the wild. Working here at the North Carolina Zoo was the perfect fit for me because I get to work with these amazing elephants and we are also very involved in conservation efforts for them. So this is actually a myth. Elephants aren't really afraid of mice. They like to show that in the movies just because it's funny. However, they do really like peanuts. Absolutely. Each of our keepers spend a lot of time hanging out with each of our individual elephants. So just as much as we get to know them as individuals, they get to know us as their keepers. So you'll want to go to college and get a degree in, in natural science or an animal related study. My degree is in biology with a minor in psychology. And you'll want to get some hands-on experience volunteering at your local zoo or an animal shelter. The elephants love fresh tree branches. They also love really sweet fruits like watermelon and cantaloupe. Sometimes we give them apples and bananas too. So each of the elephants have very subtle different physical differences that we can see, such as the shapes of their ears or how tall they are or even the length of their tusks. But they definitely have big personality differences. Some are more laid back and some of them love to run around. One of the more challenging behaviors for us to train is voluntary eye drops. Our natural reaction is to kind of close our eye and squint it if a drop of water goes into our eye. Same thing with the elephant. So it takes a lot of time and patience for us to get them used to an eye drop in their eye. One of the easiest behaviors is getting the elephants to open up their mouth so we can look inside of it. They love it when we throw food right into their mouth, so they're more than willing to throw their trunk up in the air and let us throw some food in there while we're looking at their teeth or even their tongues. So the elephants will come down to our elephant barn for some morning training sessions. We might do some fun behaviors, we might do some medical behaviors, just kind of depends on the day. And then they get to spend the rest of the day out on the habitat with all the other elephants. We spread food all across the habitats for them, so they're walking around all day, they're eating the hay and the grass out there, maybe even some tree branches. On really hot days, you might even see the elephants go for a swim in their pool and then go to our mud wallow and throw lots of mud and dirt all over themselves. So overnight, our elephants usually are out here on our habitat, as long as the weather is fine. Unless there's thunderstorms or maybe even some snow or it's way too cold out here for them, then they'll actually go down to our elephant barn overnight where it's nice and warm and dry. Yes, they do each know their names because when we have these large habitats out here and we've got four or five elephants out here, it's really important for us to be able to call one individual elephant at a time whenever we need to shift them to a different area or if we're just trying to do a feeding session. We have an elephant sized scale down at our elephant barn that we actually teach the elephants to just voluntarily step up on and stay there for a couple of seconds while we get their weight. It's just like when we go to the doctor's office, except our elephants get a nice big tasty reward afterwards. Our elephants weigh between six and almost 13,000 pounds. Artie is definitely our largest elephant right now and throughout the year, he usually is between 12,000 to 13,000 pounds. Our elephants will toss mud and dirt on themselves to help cool themselves off on those really hot summer days. It also acts like a natural sunscreen and even helps repel bug bites. Zookeepers work rain or shine. Even if there's thunderstorms outside or if there's a blizzard, we still have to come in and make sure each of our animals are nice and healthy and safe. So that's definitely the hardest part of our day is making sure that we're prepared to work out in the elements every single day. Getting to come into work and say hi to these six amazing elephants every single day is the most rewarding part of my job. I love being able to make sure that these guys are having the best life ever and setting up their day so that they have a great day every day. In Africa, female elephants will live with their family herd their entire lives. Here at our zoo, we try to mimic that as much as possible. We have four females currently. We have a mother and daughter pair, and then we have two unrelated females. So we've spent a lot of time making sure that each of our females has had the opportunity to bond with each other like family members, very similar to how they would in Africa. The elephants love toys that they can throw around. We've built a lot of different devices made out of fire hose that are nice and soft and pliable for the elephants so they're safe, but also strong enough to withstand the elephant's strength. We have six elephants here at the North Carolina Zoo, two males named Cesar and Artie, and four females, Rafiki, Nakanda, Tonga, and this one right here, our youngest, Batir. We don't currently have any babies on the way, but hopefully one day. 
Thank you guys so much for your questions. This was a lot of fun for me. I really hope you enjoyed my answers. Tune in next week for our next Ask the Expert at the North Carolina Zoo.